who just finished his examination, uh, made also, of, also some uh, remarks uh, about the general form of um, the manuscript, uh, but he also addressed some uh, specific uh, uh, issues. Uh, there was uh, a nice discussion between him and uh, uh, the student, uh, so there, there was a certain part, a part related uh, specifically to questions, but he uh, uh, also uh, addressed some uh, questions as for the fact of the students did not, the student did not use uh, anything in the text about barley although uh, it was the subject of uh, study. Uh, he talked about uh, the biocontrol and the use, the application of the results uh, in the field as how to get the, uh, uh, the strain of bacterium within the soil uh, to, to make this interaction. Uh, knowing that uh, in this type of uh, uh, application we use uh, the, the medication, uh, if we can uh, say so, uh, in, in, the, in, in terms of uh, spraying and flushing uh, through the air. Uh, uh, he also uh, talked about the uh, pollution by heavy metals. He wanted to know the, uh, the origin. Apparently, uh, we, uh, we think that there is uh, an old mine in, in, in the region, and it's not, it wasn't stated in, uh, uh, in the manuscript. He also talked about the choice of soil that may have uh, set up the conditions for the obtention of the results that were obtained. Uh, if I could explain that, uh, there was a soil uh, that was polluted, and, and there was an, an, another soil, and we get the results uh, you know, the, the, the results that were obtained uh, were not linked to the, to the, to the strain, but, but to the soil, the type of soil, not the soil. Uh, he also uh, disagreed about the use of uh, cloning the uh, 16S RNA uh, instead of going straight forward to PCR to the use of uh, PCR. Um, I think that's, that's all, okay? Encore une fois, merci, Monsieur Touati. Donc, uh, maintenant, on arrive à, à la partie des, des encadreurs. Uh, now we came to the uh, part that is reserved to uh, uh, directors of the thesis, and I will start with you. If you may uh, allow me, uh, please go ahead and you can make your cross-examination. Well, um, so, uh, Laila, thank you for presentation and also for the uh, good job to respond to the questions uh, of the three examiners already you realized uh, that something has to be straightened still in the thesis, which can be done, I think, in most cases. Um, but this is the good thing that m more people use their brain to improve uh, the manuscript. Um, I congratulate you to really a very uh, lots of interesting data on a very bright, wide screen. Uh, bacteria and uh, the seaweed macroalgae and um, we discussed uh, several times uh, to restrict to more specific ones otherwise you cannot cope to come to really detailed experiments so there, there has to be some uh, restriction concerning uh, the selection of, of the strains uh, to be tested. Um, now uh, I myself found it uh, ex extremely interested and uh, influenced probably the decision to stick to the Pseudomonas proteins, uh, since you isolated two of the strains, uh, because um, uh, maybe it was not clear enough uh, in, in your discussion or introduction. This Pseudomonas proteins is uh, type strains, there are 
isolated all over the world in very different climates, uh, different continents, and they turned out uh, to be, in, in all cases, very potent um, colonizers of the roots, different roots, and also very potent in, in biological control. Um, so that, uh, that was really, uh, so that, that the fathers of Pseudomonas potagians, which were sitting or sitting in Switzerland, uh, they really were very, very happy about this isolates now in Algeria. In addition, uh, there is some salt tolerance and also this heavy metal tolerance. So uh, this, your contribution really widened uh, the, 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 the scope of this Pseudomonas potagians worldwide, you know. Um, and what you also maybe not sufficiently really discussed is there is so much known about biochemical mechanisms how these Pseudomonas potagians interact with the plant host. So this is, that, uh, this is really very unique and uh, one always tries to think why is this strain so potent colonizing the roots? Is there something they have a special trick maybe, or several special tricks, which makes them um, um, uh, more uh, potent. And um, well, I can't give you the, the, all, all the details, but um, maybe you, you include a bit more about what is known in, in very recent uh, uh, papers about, or can you tell us a little bit what makes the protagent so well performing uh, isoplane colonizer? Which which molecule produced by yeah, protein? beyond beyond the cyrophores. Yeah, the there is many many so substances on. like uh, a volatile compound like uh, acetoin or uh, um, um, the, for the biocontrol the APG, pyolaterin, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I think. Um, Mm -hmm. And the homocerin lactone? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. I think it's um, the, the really the key issue is that some of these compounds are pretty uh, lipophilic, so there are lipopeptides and things like that. So mm -hmm. since they have this lipid residue, they get anchored into, this is the thinking, current thinking, in uh, the, the surface of the roots and they are triggering very efficiently plant responses in a positive way. Yeah. So the plant is, seems to recognize, oh, there is a beneficial bacterium arising, yeah. we want to support it. Yeah. <laughs> and so this couple really is, is, is forming a, a, the plant and the rhizosphere bacterium protagents is forming a very efficient uh, new unit. Mm -hmm. I think this is the, the, the story behind. Okay, now I want to have an, another question uh, towards application. Mm -hmm. um, you used seaweeds but also these bacteria, however you only tested them for maybe two weeks. Yeah, uh, two weeks. Two yeah. weeks, yes, for 15 days. But, and you found uh, improvement. Mm -hmm. Good. But what does it mean if you think an application, you want to know what, how is the performance until the harvest, until the, the yield, yield level of biomass or certain uh, mm, I, corns. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us a bit more um, on, on this? Yeah, um, I make this in the outlook, so we have to test it in field yeah. to, uh, to test the, the effect in, in, the, in many... Uh, time so mm -hmm. uh, to get uh, more uh, uh, results mm. so and to be sure that this uh, PGBR can promote uh, the plant's growth uh, barley growth so so you leave this for future research yeah yeah uh, but anyway um, for example this um, application of uh, seaweeds you know you found 50% of this preparation is optimal I, I started to think about, since I'm not expert in this, but 50% is rather concentrated. How much, how, how can a farmer really apply so many in, in a big field, 
so high, rather high concentrated seaweed extract, and it will cost, you know, you have to calculate how much does it cost and how much uh, does it get back because mm -hmm. of the stimulation of growth. So do you know from literature uh, whether this is really positive? This concentration? Yeah, but yeah no, this, this, this calculation. Uh, yeah. Farmer uh, wants in the paper, there is uh, not 50 percent, but 20 or 30 so, uh, percent. Uh -huh. Yeah. In the, in the field application, they go down. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, that sounds better. <laughs> so otherwise, I have to spend so much to to the seaweeds, right? Okay. And but nevertheless, the effect is positive. As seems like. Okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. What? May uh, a little bit time left? Yeah. yeah. Um, another uh, aspect is um, uh, the, the salt torrents. Um, uh, what, what I what interested me also very uh, much here, also to hook in into this research in the University of Bijaya is uh, started with with uh, Hafid and now with you that these bacteria, most of them are have some salt torrents, yeah. probably because yeah, there is or yeah. they are close to the sea. Huh? Yeah. And so, um, how about if you compare uh, the salt torrents of your potagens isolate with others? Uh, yeah. Is it yeah, it's the same tolerance with uh, the NH. A, uh -huh. Yeah, the same is the okay. about 20 millimolar mm -hmm. with the optimum. Mm -hmm. And they tolerate the, um, um, I think, 80 millimolar, uh, mm -hmm. 800 millimolar. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but the you, optimum is in uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, 200 millimolar. Uh, do you know, or did you, I did not really find much experiments to, maybe it was too much for you, you did so many things, to work towards mechanisms of salt tolerance in this bacterium. And also in the interaction with the, with the plants. Uh, what, what, uh, what is beneficial to get the salt torrents? Uh, uh, we can area. use it in, in soil, in salt soil, mm. so they can tolerate, uh, uh, help plants to tolerate some concentration of soil. Mm -hmm. uh, but based on which mechanism? By which mechanism? Yes. Uh, by, I think, uh, reduction of osmo. <laughs> if you don't know, say it, don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think it, it's still open, but um, yeah. I think Hafid has an explanation for his strain. Right? And maybe future research, I just want to say, uh, sometimes you, you just address an important point in your thesis and say, this is interesting and need to be studied further, right? Oui. And, okay. uh, but you did not really point to this, I think, important uh, fact, okay? okay? Yeah, well, many things have been said and I agree with, uh, with most of the criticism. Um, yeah, I think. I think I can, uh, maybe I respond to the cloning issue of the 16, 16S, uh, which you did in, in our lab. Uh, we, we, some, some, we are, uh, my group and our, uh, my scientists, they really want to make sure that there is no uh, uncertainties when they finally get the sequences because we have the experience if you just straight um, made a, a PCR and send it to the sequencing then quite often it comes back and says oh not, cannot be interpreted. Uh, so uh, we, we suggest our students just take the extra time to do the cloning and have then a nice clean product and then you can interpret also the result for sure. Okay. <laughs> Good. I think uh, I'm, I'm done with my comments and uh, again I think uh, I'm very positive with the result and hope 
uh, that uh, you can continue with this kind of research. But always think about uh, to go towards novel things, you know, novel things, because it's getting more and more complicated to publish the results which have been published already several times in parallel with other strains. So the editors or reviewers are uh, giving more and more a hard time. So try to find also issues in your future research which is really novel, you know, novel. So I um, think uh, that would help you in your future, future career. Okay. Thank you, uh, Professor Hartman, for uh, uh, your intervention and uh, your remarks. Uh, uh, sans tarder aussi, je donne la parole uh, au directeur de thèse, Professeur Nabti. Vous avez la parole. 